Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Y'all are tuned in to another episode of Crypto Millionaire Journey. And the journey, it's been going well. I've been busy. The crypto space, it keeps you busy, man. It, it keeps, it really keeps you on your toes. All these different projects. You know, the market cap is back over 300 billion. Bitcoin is, you know, playing around that 11k 12k range quarter three looking very promising as we get ready to head into quarter four in a couple months and i think we're going to have another run like we did back in 2017 but for today's episode man i gotta talk about this project monaco the new debit card it's finally here I got mine not too long ago. I cannot wait to start using it because for me, it's been about mm, about a year's time of waiting for this bad boy. And oh, we, 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 we. Now I got another objective because with Monaco, now there's levels to this shit. All these different tiers. You got steak MCO. Oh, man, 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 man. But, again, that's what the journey is all about. The continuous grind. But let's go ahead and dive on in. For those of you that don't know what Monaco is, if you haven't seen my YouTube videos, you know, my YouTube channel is The Wolf of Crypto. Uh, uh, man, 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 man. So right now, I have the basic free one, basic version, Midnight Blue. I get 1% back on every purchase. And mind you, 1% on every single purchase. Let me know what debit card, what current debit card, yes, debit, not credit card, debit card is giving you 1% back on every transaction. Now, this is just a basic one because, you know, there's levels. Like, like I said, there's levels to this shit. And... The next level I'm trying to get to is the 50 MCO, which then I'll get the this Ruby one. And then from there, you go 500 MCO, you can get the either the Jade Green or the Indigo Purple. And then from there, you got the 5,000 MCO where you can get the Rose Gold or the, uh, I guess you'll call that, what I mean, like a Silver, Diamond Slate. And then from there, 50,000 MCO, Obsidian Black. But right now, let's go ahead and see what the current price is of these MCO tokens. Current price, $3.94. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, they're expensive. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Now, the circulating supply is only 15 million MCO. So, those that hodl and those that rack them up before... Because, to be honest, man, I think... This coin could go. I think the possibilities are endless as far as price goes. Because if you think about it, if everybody's doing the same thing, you know, some people might, some people might not. I know what I'm, I know my goal and objective is for MCO. But man, oh man, oh man. So let's go ahead and, you know, talk about these different levels. As far as levels go. So, yeah, like I said, I got the Midnight Blue. It's really basic. I get 1% back on all my card spending. Now, the 1% back, you got to make note of this. You're getting this back in MCO tokens. So, you're really helping yourself get to these different levels when you want to start staking MCO because, well, it's coming back. Now, if we talk about the... Oh, actually, before I get to the Eamon, to the uh, Ruby, also with the Midnight Blue. So there's no fee ATM monthly withdrawal. Um, now, that's for the first 200 each month. So you are you are allowed to, you know, take out 200 from the ATM with no fees. Yes, you heard me. No fees. And then after that, if you want to take out more, it's going to be a 2% uh, little charge after that. So if you come to the next level which is you know the ruby now you gotta be staking 50 mco but your incentives get a little bit better you know why why oh watch this so now you get two percent on all your spending 
you get a 100% rebate if you have Spotify. And now your ATM monthly withdrawal gets bumped up to $400 per month. And then as far as it's like this interbank exchange rates monthly limit, uh, haven't got a grasp on what that really means. I'm guessing, let's say if you have a, maybe like a different bank, like a foreign bank and you want to exchange some money, maybe that's what they mean by that. Again, I got to do some, you know, some research on that. But if you go ahead and then you level up again to the 500 MCO stake, now you're getting 3% back on all your card spending. 100% back on that Spotify. Ooh, guess what? And now you're getting 100% back on your Netflix. Yes. On your Netflix subscription, you get 100% back. Now, for the Spotify and the Netflix, um, it's got to be equivalent to your subscription fees. So for Spotify, it's basically $9.99. I know, if I'm not mistaken, I think Spotify has different levels as well for like maybe their subscriptions, premiums, and all that shit. And then for Netflix, you got to have the standard monthly one. So the twelve ninety nine one, they don't have the rebate on the 4K version, which is a little disappointing a little bit just because of the fact that, you know, we are going into the 4K, you know, world. I mean, I, I like to watch all my movies and TV shows in 4K. That's just, you know, it's the highest quality that you can watch. So let's go back. You upgrade again. You're staying at 5,000 MCO. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting 4% back on all your spending. 4% back. You get the Spotify. You get the Netflix. And guess what else you get? Ooh, you're getting Expedia.com. You're getting Expedia.com 10% back. Now, as far as the 10% back goes, I believe it's like $50. It has to be equivalent to $50. So whatever, whatever booking you do, as long as it's $50, you're getting 10% back on that, if I read that correctly. And also, guess what? The Lounge Key Airport Lounge Access, you get access to that, plus one guest. And then, ooh, now you're at 1,000 no-fee ATM monthly withdrawal. So you're allowed to withdraw 1,000 a month. And then your bank exchange rate monthly limit goes to 20,000. And if I didn't speak on the monthly withdrawal fees for the jade and indigo purple it'll be 800 usd and then it'll be 10,000 usd for interbank exchange rates and then the all these so after you you know get past the midnight blue all these cards come in this composite metal so you know it's like a metal card it's a little heavy you know it's real fancy you know what i'm saying it's real fancy you know what i'm saying so the last level the last tier the one that i want the most because, oh man, it's the incentives. And oh yeah, by the way, once you get upgraded after Midnight Blue, those referral commissions, ooh, you start earning on those. So referral commissions, the way it works with the MCO is obviously you have to have be staking 50 MCO minimum because you gotta be at the next cart level. Oh, so all your referrals, all your friends, all the people that sign up under you, and I'll be leaving my referral link. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and tell y'all what my referral link is as well. So y'all do go ahead and sign up under me. It'd be much appreciated because guess what? I'm earning off of whatever you spend as well. Yeah. That's a nice, nice incentive to be earning from people that you bring to the project. So you get to earn. So like I said, all right, all right. So got the book, man. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about your card. <laughs> the one that you, hopefully now, if you guys are U.S. citizens, you guys are allowed now to uh, reserve your card. You know, all you got to do was download the app, put in some information and they said it takes about seven to ten business days but i got mine actually pretty quick um but like i said the choice is yours because i want to say asia and some other country i think they've been on this for a minute it's always funny how europe and shit gets everything first and we're just slow to everything i, I ain't gonna lie man living in the states sometimes it fucking sucks being a u.s citizen it ain't, it ain't what it all pins out to be but so let's go ahead and talk about the card and what you can do. 
some of the fees and all these little different things. So as far as your maximum balance on the card, you are allowed to have 25K maximum on the card. Um, withdrawals, you're up to 10,000 per day. And that includes ATM and POS purchases. And, um, and it's going to be up to 20,000 per month. So, you know, if you're fucking cashing out, you know, you got to make sure you keep track of, you know, how much you're uh, taking out, depositing, because there are some limits, which, you know, for me, I don't really mind. Um, so cash withdrawal, you know, up to 500 per day, 5,000 per month, uh, POS up to 10,000 per day and 15,000 per month. Um, now, as far as uh, sending money card to card, uh, so you're allowed to send up to 500 a day or 5,000 per month. So obviously, you wanted to send some money to whoever it may be that has an MCO card. You can do that. But again, just got to keep in mind. You got to keep in mind these limits. Now, the limits I'm reading this is for the Midnight Blue card. So keep that in mind. This booklet is for the basic Midnight Blue zero MCO tokens locked up. I'm pretty sure as I upgrade, I think like I was reading earlier, these limits will be going up. Um, you know, you you are allowed to get direct deposits to this card. Um, I believe you can, um, they have like an, uh, I think it's like account number they give you. Haven't set that up yet. I don't know if I'm going to set it up quite yet. Uh, I might. Eh, we'll see. Uh, as far as, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Uh, there's something about uh, foreign transaction fees because they said that there's no yeah I know this is probably crazy they said that there's actually zero foreign transaction fees that means your card is borderless which generally speaking it should be because you know if you are a frequent traveler and you're constantly going to all these different countries and you want to use your card without having to fucking call your bank like hey uh i'm calling because i'm going to go here so can you guys not be dickheads and uh put you know holds on my shit because it is my money at the end of the day so transaction fees ooh we i don't think you gotta worry about those like i said that's what they said but now i think it depends on conversion rates and stuff like that but from what i've because I did speak to support about this as well. They said that there is actually zero foreign transaction fees. So when I traveled out abroad and I used my MCO card, we're going to put that to the test. Um, also, too, um, some things that comes from the book that I want to just touch up on. Because this really, that's the thing. This thing is really easy to use because obviously they have an app. So when you want to load your car, you can do it literally everything from the app. So you don't got to log in. Everything's mobile. Um, now, as far as where is it at? Hold on for one second, y'all. Uh, OK, OK, OK. So here we go. So some of the other fees that you might be thinking, well, you know, is there monthly fees? There's actually no monthly fees. Now, in the activity fee, you will get charged four ninety five, but that's only gonna be charged after twelve months of no activity. So, you don't have a, a year's worth if you don't put no activity in a year. I mean, come on now, it's kind of weird. But if you want to replace your card? It's only gonna cost you seven dollars. Um, paper statements, which I don't think anybody wants to get mailed, gonna be five bucks. And then now, if you're using ACH. Uh, if you gets returned or declined, there's a fifteen dollar fee, but those are really only fees that have dollars attached to them. Crazy, right? You're probably thinking, "What the hell?" Like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, so, so you see, look, look, look. So yeah, or it says removing funds from your card. POS signature purchase, POS pen debit purchase, international in parentheses, the cost and the details. No charge, no charge, yeah. POS pen. So that means I can go to France right now, go buy some shit, and not get charged international fees. 
Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And guess what? These are some other fees. POS pin purchase and POS signature purchase. If they're declining international, there's no charge. No charge. What? Yeah. So there's no charge when you order your first car and there's no charge to activate it. I mean, guys. Oh, you think I'm done? Nah, I'm not done yet. <laughs> there's more. Oh yeah, you're probably thinking, what what more what more could this debit card possibly do? Shit, man. You uh you wanna earn some interest that you can get paid weekly on? Simple interest is not compound interest, but we talking about up to eight percent though on your crypto that you hold in your uh, wallet here. And like I said, this interest is paid weekly. Not not monthly, not yearly, not quarterly, weekly. Interest paid weekly. You bet your ass my fucking job now is to get me some minimums for staking and getting some interest on on your on your crypto. Again, when <laughs> interest, man. Banks, all these fucking banks. Uh, last time I checked, their interest is pretty shitty. It's like what most banks like zero point zero something, and then you know most people's arguments is like, oh, you gotta get you know a high yield savings account or a high yield bank account in case B. And it's like, all right, if you do that, I think the percentage goes up to like maybe like what three percent. I think you get paid. I think it's annually i think i'm if i'm not my shirts like i said i don't i fuck the banks man i don't do a whole lot of research and all that um on banks when especially when it comes to interest rates because i mean the common denominator normally is interest rates from the bank suck because they're making all the money so let's go ahead and get back to the crypto earn that you can do from within your app if you have these requirements now, before we get to the requirements, like I said, there's some levels. Now, earnings without the MCO stake and earnings with the MCO stake. So, the percentages go up, obviously, if you're staking some MCO. And that's what you kind of want to do. I mean... I mean, that's what, I'm, that's what I plan on doing because it's like, well, it's a no-brainer. Like, why, why wouldn't you want to stake some coins on this app and get fucking free interest that's paid weekly i'm sorry i'm putting a lot of emphasis on the interest right now but i ain't never seen no app no debit card where you you can earn interest like this i mean we're talking you heard me say up to eight percent, right? Yeah. So let's so let's just say let's say you have the basic one right now, which you know I do. It's you know I ain't got no MCO right now. It's fine. I'll have some MCOs pretty soon. Bet your ass on that one. So earnings while MCO state right now you would be earning two percent, which is pretty flexible. But two percent paid out weekly? Shit. I'm taking that. I'll take that. One month, it goes bumps up to 4%. Three months, 6%. So in three months, if I'm if I'm staking the minimum requirements, I'm going to get 6%? Interest paid in Bitcoin? <sighs> ah, man. I'm telling you, man. I don't think y'all hearing me right now. Well, let's just say you are staking some MCO. Uh-oh. Now your flexible goes to 4%, your one month goes to 6%, and three months it goes to 8%. There's that 8%. So in three months, you can earn 8% by staking MCO. Hmm. <sighs> Again, now I'm, I'm pretty sure people are probably thinking, well, you know, if I stake, I mean, 8% in three months, eh, some people are probably thinking, no, nah, that's not a lot of shit, man. You don't think that's a lot? All right, man. I guess not. But for me, my personal opinion, eight percent. I don't. I don't know what other 
again application that's out there where you can stake crypto and you can get interest that's paid out weekly now the tokens that you can earn that's part of the crypto earn little program that they have currently right now which they plan on adding more tokens in the future right now they got bitcoin ethereum litecoin ripple uh obviously their mco uh true usd paxos and the usd coin now the minimum deposit that you have to have uh to start earning this interest for bitcoin right now it's 0.05 ethereum is 1f litecoin 1.5 litecoin ripple 500 uh true usd 250 packs 250 uh usd coin 250 and uh mco's gonna be 50 and they just added the binance coin i want to say maybe like a couple of days ago and you need to have three Binance coins to earn your <laughs> earn your interest. And the maximum deposit total is uh I'm looking at this correctly. I think it's one million. Yeah, I think it's one million. It's a lot of commas. Yeah, so crypto earn program. Ooh, you bet your ass I'm excited. And you bet your ass I'm going to have some crypto assets in here strictly just for that. And basically all that interest that I'll be earning from that, I'm just going to reinvest it. It's only right, right? So again, and oh, by the way, I'm, I'm done now. I'm done because the next feature that they have is not quite out yet. It's called their crypto credit, which... You'll be able to, uh, you know, get a loan, credit, no credit checks, not, nothing like that. Because, you know, nowadays, you know, you got to get credit checks and for all this to just get a just to get a loan. Now you can just deposit your crypto, hold that collateral. You can get yourself a little loan for anything that you possibly might need. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> and there's, oh, by the way, there's a no repayment deadline. Yeah, isn't that fucking just lovely? So... Ah oh, man, that's going to wrap it up, guys, for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely, definitely going to have a lot more episodes in the future. I know it's been kind of sporadic as far as my episodes go, but ooh, I've been busy. I hate to say it, I've been busy. I know it's not an excuse, but man, if you're, if you're involved in crypto you're in, in the crypto space i mean obviously y'all can understand because i mean there's so many different projects but you want to find the ones that are really good the ones where you can you know have all these different incentives where you actually want to put some work towards them and really start you know doing something and actually putting money towards it because you know there's over now i think there's over what over tw almost 2500 cryptocurrencies now but not all of them are going to make it not all are going to make it it's the ones that you want to find that are going to make it and where you can make you know dividends here compound interest here you know projects that are giving something back for just you know being involved and who we you best believe I'm going to be involved with this one because, I mean, again, I think the interest, for at least for me, because right now, journey I'm on is I'm trying to find all these different coins and projects where you get dividends and interest, compound interest, because man on oh man. You start collecting in, start raking in that, it, it can get pretty scary. Now you're, now all those passive incomes, whew, now you're gonna start to see some nice gains. Especially that's another thing. Yeah, I realize too. While you're doing all this in the market cap that we're in, currently in right now, I mean we're still in the 300 billion. You know, what happens when we hit a trillion? Could you imagine the interest, the dividends that? That you'll be raking in at that point. Because again, we're still in the early stages of crypto. Mass adoption is coming. It's 
it's slow, but it's 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 on its way. It's just again, it's a it's a slow grind. But as far as the referral code goes, my referral code is S N H N two A X T J two. Now again, the way this works is you get fifty, I get fifty. But the way you get the 50 is by staking 50 MCO. And obviously at the current price, if you were to stake 50 off top, you're looking at about 120, 30 bucks, I believe. But you got to remember, since you get that 50, you're getting that back. So you're getting a little bit over, I would say a little, a little bit over of half of that back, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not you know I'm not the greatest numbers guy off the top of my head, but I mean I, I do I, I can do some numbers with a calculator. Shit. But again, that's gonna ooh, that's gonna wrap it up for today, man. Um, again, if you guys want to listen to the cast, I am available on obviously Anchor, Apple, Spotify. Uh, where else is it at? Sheesh, man. Breaker, Castbox, uh, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public. So wherever you might be listening, appreciate y'all tuning in with me. Like I said, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some more episodes coming out, man. Some different ways where you can just start earning right now. I mean, for Christ's sakes, there's a browser I found called the Brave Browser, which I'll you know talk about in another episode. You can earn money, you know, bad tokens, just from using their browser, surfing the internet. And you get paid. Oh, by the way, you get paid monthly on the 5th. Uh, I mean, like I said, man, this crypto thing, man, the technology, the space, I love it. I absolutely love it because they make it where for basically almost everything and anything that you're doing, you're going to earn something. And that's something that's mo- nine out of ten times is going to be some money. And as you earn now, you reap the rewards later when some of these tokens prices shoot the hell up. And it's like, damn, you remember back then when I was just earning all these tokens and obviously the prices were really low. And now you're in the thousands and shit, don't let you get in the millions of some of these tokens. It's like, well, shit, at that point, you just chilling. You can spend it gradually. Live how you want. Because like I said, man, journey, the journey ain't over until I get there. I'm going to get there. It's going to take some time. But best believe I will get there. It could be two years, three years. I mean, for me, two or three years, uh, I can wait two or three years. Shit, that's not long. I mean, if you know, if Bitcoin does hit. Some people think Bitcoin can hit 100K by like 2021. That's, that's two years. Two years. Bitcoin hits 100K. What are the other coins going to be at? The altcoins. Some of these are some true winners, man. I'm telling y'all. Some of these are some true winners. But I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, like I said, if y'all haven't checked out my YouTube channel, check out my YouTube channel because I got some videos on all these different projects, constantly uploading videos um, to that channel as well. Uh, if you guys want to buy some merch as well, I got some merch, man. Go ahead, go to Amazon, just type in popcorn season. And that's popcorn season with the SZN. You know what I'm saying? SZN. So, you know, popcorn, SZN. Uh, but I'm going ahead and get out here into the next episode. And we're going to sign off with. I hope everybody, wherever you may be, hope y'all doing well. Like I said, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode, man. Peace. The money back that you can get from from <laughs> using this debit card, the incentives, man. It, ooh, I feel like the sky's the limit, man. I feel like the sky's the limit. But let's go ahead and get back to this Obsidian Black. Hope y'all are sitting down. Hope y'all are ready for this. You're getting 5% back on all your spending, 100% on the Spotify, 100% on Expedia, I mean Netflix, sorry, 
ten percent on Expedia, and then you're getting ten percent on uh this thing they call Airbnb, which is equivalent to a hundred dollars. So you get ten percent back on whatever you spend on Airbnb, and of course you get you know airport airport ugh, airport lounge access. I don't know why I was struggling with that, and then you get the same. Uh, monthly withdrawal for ATM, which is a thousand, but you get a limited interbank exchange rates monthly. So those are the tiers. Ah, man, 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 man. Like I said, the city in black is the goal. Can I reach that goal? Uh, I believe I can. It's just gonna take some hard work, some money, obviously. But it's gonna. It's, Watch when I had this obsidian black, y'all gonna know. Trust me, cause I was geeked when I got the midnight blue one. But I'm pretty sure y'all thinking, oh, that's that, that's it, right? That's that's it. That's nah, 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 nah. There's more. And uh, before I get to that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this little booklet, cause ooh, cause I know what comes to fees, man. That is one thing. Ever since I've been doing a whole lot of research and just kind of really just understanding finance and economics and all this stuff, I fucking hate fees, man. Like I, I'm putting emphasizes on the F word, like because I really do. Because you got fees for this, fees for that, fees for this, fees for this. It's like holy shit, man. It's like they're just trying to just get money from you. You know, I, you know who I'm talking about? It's these fucking banks, man. Fuck, fuck banks. Fuck every bank out there, man. And the reason why I say that is because I don't even have a. I'm not even involved with a bank. Yeah, I got credit unions, but, you know, credit unions are more lenient. And they ain't got too many high fees. But eventually, when they start paying in crypto, because to be honest, man, I ain't going to lie. If I could get the job where I'm getting paid in crypto, oh, man, phew, sign me up. Or you want to put my salary in crypto? Yeah, please, because I'll, I'll show you how to do it if you need to. Like, I mean... Being paid in crypto would be the ultimate goal, but obviously, you know, the world's a little bit slow, mass adoption. It's slowly coming, but it takes time. It takes time. Not everybody understands this, you know? And a lot of people are doubters and all this other shit, but... <sighs> are y'all ready for this? <laughs> I don't think they're ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on for one second. Let me go ahead and get this book. I'm going to get this book real quick. I want to read you guys some of these things, some about these fees and stuff like that. So hold on for one second. <laughs> 